Oral route. Its absorption pattern is variable, affected by many factors. It is the safest and most common, convenient, and economical route of administration. But its disadvantages are limited absorption of some drugs, food may affect absorption, patient compliance is necessary, and drugs may be metabolized before systemic absorption. Intravenous route. Absorption is not required. It can have immediate effects, ideal if dosed in large volumes, suitable for irritating substances and complex mixtures, valuable in emergency situations. Dosage titration is permissible and ideal for high molecular weight proteins and peptide drugs. It is unsuitable for oily or poorly absorbed substances. Bolus injection may result in adverse effects. Most substances must be slowly injected and strict aseptic techniques needed. Subcutaneous route. Absorption depends on drug deliverance. Aqueous solution, prompt. Depot preparations, slow and sustained. It is suitable for slow-release drugs and ideal for some poorly soluble suspensions. Its disadvantages are pain or necrosis if drug is irritating, and it is unsuitable for drugs administered in large volumes. Intramuscular route. Absorption depends on drug diluents. Aqueous solution, prompt. Depot preparations, slow and sustained. It is suitable if drug volume is moderate, suitable for oily vehicles and certain irritating substances, and preferable to intravenous if patient must self-administer. It affects certain lab tests, creatine kinase, can be painful, and can cause intramuscular hemorrhage precluded during anticoagulation therapy. Transdermal route, patch. Absorption is slow and sustained. It bypasses the first pass effect. It is convenient and painless. Ideal for drugs that are lipophilic, thus requiring prolonged administration. And it is ideal for drugs that are quickly eliminated from the body. Its disadvantages are that some patients are allergic to patches which can cause irritation, drugs must be highly lipophilic, it may cause delayed delivery of drug to pharmacological site of action, and it is limited to drugs that can be taken in small daily doses. Rectal route. Absorption is erratic and variable. It partially bypasses first base effect, bypasses destruction by stomach acid. It is ideal if drug causes vomiting and ideal in patients who are vomiting or comatose. Its disadvantages are that drugs may irritate the rectal mucosa and it is not a well-accepted route. Inhalation. Systemic absorption may occur. This is not always desirable. Absorption is rapid, can have immediate effects. It is ideal for gases, effective for patients with respiratory problems. Those can be titrated, localized effects to target lungs. Lower doses used compared to that with oral or parenteral administration and fewer systemic side effects. It is most addictive route. Drug can enter the brain quickly. Patient may have difficulty regulating doses, and some patients may have difficulty using inhalers. Sublingual route. Absorption depends on the drug. Few drugs, for example, nitroglycerin, have rapid direct systemic absorption. Most drugs radically or incompletely absorbed. It bypasses first pass effect, bypasses destruction by stomach acid, drug stability maintained because the pH of saliva relatively neutral. 
and it may cause immediate pharmacological effects. Its disadvantages are that it is limited to certain types of drugs, limited to drugs that can be taken in small doses, and a part of the drug dose may be lost if swallowed. Let's have some quizzes. Choose the right answer. A vomiting sick person will best be treated by this method. Yes, by intravenous route. The best method of administering medicine that exists in gaseous form is? Yes, it is inhalation. To avoid acid instability of omeprazole, it is administered in the form of? Yes in the form of enteric coated capsules. The first pass effect is more pronounced on drug taken through this method. Yes, it is more pronounced on drug taken through oral route. Many amounts of the following drug are sometimes combined with a drug administered subcutaneously to restrict its area of action. Yes, it is epinephrine. Etinogestrol is given via Yes, it is given through subcutaneous route. It is given as a single rod implanted for long-term activity. The following drugs are given in the form of transdermal patches except Yes, except Desmopressin. These routes bypass the first pass effect except except oral route. IV injection is unsuitable for It is unsuitable for oily or poorly absorbed substances. Are these sentences right or wrong? The buccal root is similar to the oral root. No, this sentence is wrong. It is similar to the sublingual root. Drug given as a transdermal patch must be highly lipophilic. Yes, this sentence is right. Depot preparations are aqueous solutions that are absorbed rapidly. No, this sentence is wrong. Depot preparations consist of a suspension of the drug in an unaqueous vehicle that is absorbed slowly. IV injection is ideal for high molecular weight proteins and peptide drugs. Yes, this sentence is right. Subcutaneous route is suitable for drugs administered in large volumes. No, this sentence is wrong. Subcutaneous route is unsuitable. But the route that is suitable for them is IV route. If you are new here, welcome to this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. You won't regret it.